Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll study alkynes. What are alkynes? Alkynes are again unsaturated hydrocarbons and they have at least one triple bond. Minimum one triple bond. For example, this is ethyne. This is ethyne, the smallest hydrocarbon. This alkyne is ethyne. The structure of alkyne. The structure of ethyne actually, the triple bond, and this length is uh, bond length is 106, and carbon carbon bond length is 120 picometer. So the number of hydrogen atoms is less in alkynes as compared to alkenes and alkene. For example, I have CS3, CS3, this is ethane, 6 hydrogen for 2 carbon. I have ethane, 4 hydrogen for 2 carbon, and ethane, 2 hydrogen for Two carbons. The hydrogen concentration is less, right? The first stable member is called ethyne, and the common name is acetylene. It is used for welding purpose. And the sigma bond is sp hybridized. If you see the structure, this is my carbon, two carbon atoms. These are sp hybridized. Correct. And they are starting materials for large number of organic compounds. You see, uh, you see that you, you create benzenes out of ethynes. You see the homologous series. This is my ethyne triple bond. This is my propyne again a triple bond here. This is my butyne. Right? And the general formula will be CnH2n minus two. In case of alkene, it was CnH2n plus two. Alkene, it was CnH2n. And here it is two, even two less, that is CnH2n minus 2. Here also we have pi bond, and pi bond is weak as we have told due to uh, poor sideways overlapping, plus pi bond has a lot of electrons, right? They have loosely held uh, mobile electrons, and thus they can easily be attacked by electrophiles. They are little unstable, correct? So they are unstable when you compare to alkene and alkene. You see the nomenclature will not do much because we have done the nomenclature in the past chapter. So you have to find the longest chain which has that triple bond. Triple bond. And then uh, write it clearly. So the numbering is done so that uh, you get triple bond the less numbers. And then you use suffix ein here. For example, in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we'll start numbering from here. This 5 this is pent, 5 is pent, pent 1 i. So this guy, 1, 2, this is the numbering. So you get second, uh, what do you call it? The triple bond at second position, this is pent 2 i. This guy, if you see, you start the numbering from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will become 3 methyl, but because they have 4 carbons here in the straight chain. But one I because at one position I have triple bond. So we have structural isomerism here also. Ethyne and propyne have only one structures, but two possible structures for butyne that is but one I and but two I. We'll take one numerical. We have to write all the um, structures for fifth member of the alkyne series that is fifth member is what C six H. 6 into 2 minus 2, that is 12 minus 2, that is 10. This is my fifth member of the alkyne series, and I have to write all the isomers. So I have to write 6 carbons here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So I can write triple bond, I can have at first position or second position, also I can have triple bond or third position, also I can have. Correct. So if I make it fourth position, this will be equal to my this guy. If I make it fifth position, it will be equal to this guy. So I can have only three in the straight ones. Let's try for the branch one. So branch one, I can have something in this form. Correct. So I can have a triple bond in this position, first position, or I can have triple bond in the second position. Correct. Third, if I have 
it's not possible because I have a C attached here, you only two possibles. Now let me move this carbon here. So I let's put this carbon here. So in that case we can have triple bond here. We can't have here, we can't have here. Here if you put it's all same. So two possible options here again. This is one, this is one. And then we can have uh, something like this. I have four here. And I have five, six. In this case I can have triple bond only at here. So I have these pos these many possible isomers. One name this this becomes hex one ion. At one position I have this triple bond. Here I have at second position this will be hex two ion. Here I have at third position it will be hex three ion. This guy will number it one two three four. So at at four I have methyl. This is four methyl. And uh, at first position, I have a triple bond. This is all five pent one i. Let's number this guy. This guy I can number in, in this fashion again one, two, three, four, five. Right? So it'll be four methyl pent here. I have at second position two i. In this case, one, two, three, four, five. So it will be at third I have methyl, so three methyl, first I have a double bond and total is five, so pent one ion. Now let's take this one, two, three, four, and at, uh, let's number this one, two, three, four. So at first at, at three I have two methyls, so three, three dimethyl. At first I have a triple bond and there are four carbons, so it's butte. One. So you have, if you have difficulties in understanding this naming convention, please watch my previous chapter video already chemistry where we explain how to name an organic compound. So the, some of the common IUPAC names. This is my C2H2. It's called ethyne IUPAC name and commonly called acetylene. This is propyne. Three carbon, the triple bond. This is called methyl acetylene. This butyline with butyline and they are called ethyl acetylene and dimethyl acetylene so these are my correct so these are my common uh, names in the IUPC name for ethyne this is ethyne is called acetylene propyne is called methyl acetylene and butyline and butyline have different names butyline is called ethyl acetylene and butyline is called dimethyl acetylene So now we'll talk about the triple bond structure. In fact, we've discussed this, they are all sp hybridized. If you see, this is triple bond, right? So these carbons are sp hybridized. We've already discussed this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.